What's up, powerful people? My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid, and I'm here to welcome you to part 25.2 of World of Horror here on Super Kid Plays. Powerful people, if you're excited for this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, leave any comments you have for me in the comment section, and please share this video with anyone you think would like it. All right, powerful people, first things first. Let's see what's up here. Cut off from outside world. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. It must be the radio mast failure. It must. Let's head home. Take the key. Of course, there's nothing else in there. Let's take a bath. Fill the bottle. And we'll take a small XP boost. And then I will drink the water. And let's go check out the next mystery, shall we? Freaky feature of found footage. Sorrowful saga of moonlight sailors. Bizarre brood of a blood-curdling botanist. Horrible history of household hell. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'll go with the horrible history of household hell. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. OOO Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic event that took place there? Is it? Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. That's true, it might. Let's go shopping, though. Eh. I don't like any of this. Do I want the flashlight or the map? Hmm. Flashlight, I guess. I wanted cigarettes. That's fine, though. Investigate the skewer. There was a hole here. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Uh, study the writing on the blackboard. You decipher the occult instructions and let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Minus two reason, minus two stamina, plus spell. Jeez. Shadow Shroud. Holy shit, that's good. For the duration of this mystery, ignore the location's threat level. Wow. That could be very good. Um... The building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copy the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepare to leave. All right. What do you think? Should I do this? Uh, I, would, I mean, forget it. Um, yeah. Just to be safe. And we'll go downtown. Oh, exhausted. Wonderful. Uh, the investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Jog around the block. Strength check success. The quick exercise helps clear your mind. Or this quick exercise. Plus one reason. Gain a spell? Really? Awesome. I don't know why. Regeneration. Two stamina for two reasons but it's really for doom. I wonder how much it costs. We'll, we'll hang on to that. Uh, comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You will need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Okie dokie. To the seaside. Eldritch Statuette. Something pulls you towards the beach. 
A statuette half buried in the sand is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Ignore it. Strength check success. Despite your sudden desire, you get all, you get hold of yourself. Moving away from it, you quickly forget the whole encounter plus five experience. I love that. You make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. Um. Let's do the seaside, I guess. Petty thief. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Success. Hell yeah. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before dis disappearing in the crowd. I say this most of the time that this happens, I think, but they drop your wallet, I'm assuming, not their arm. But that's a little misleading. Ah, you've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You've decided to read some books that might help you. Uh... Architecture... Architect's Journal? Uh-huh. That's fine, that's fine. Shokawa Herald A. 420, dog. What up? <laughs> 420 hertz. Remember that. How could we forget? You make it through the window. This is the abandoned... Oh, yeah, we already, we already read that. Sculptures? You enter the art classroom in the mansion? The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Check out the masks. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you. We got the demon mask. Plus one damage, minus four max stamina. What would that make our max stamina? 14 or 13? That's pretty cool. Do I want to do that? Maybe later. You've heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. You must find a key. Okay. Whoa. Walking through the forest in the house, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. The man-eating plant! Minus four stamina? Jesus, God in heaven. Uh. Hmm. Um. Let's see, seventy percent. Sorry, this is taking a little while to work out. Damn it. Uh, try that. Can I still dodge? We'll give it a shot. We hit him once, and we dodged the attack. Wow, that's... That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever successfully dodged an attack in this game. <laughs> Um... Uh... Let's try again. Well, nice! We did it again! We only hit him the one time, which kind of sucks, but still. That's really awesome. Um... Now do I really go for it? Oh, I don't have to really go for anything, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. God damn it. Fucking did the math wrong. Uh, okay, that sucks, but whatever. We did kill it. 
Jesus Christ. Come on, I don't have anything to heal. Hmm, yeah. I'll do this. How much doom does it give me? It gave me three doom. That's not even that bad. Oh shit, and I don't even lose it. Yeah, one more. That's fine. The location threat level, that might not be stupid either. Pretty cool though. Cold Trail. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. Oh, good, a broken bottle. Um. Since my. HP is so... well, no. I need the flashlight for later. Although... I think I'm good for the time being. Eyes in the dark. You feel watched. Retreat. You retreat from the room. Minus two reason. Okay. A bath, hell yeah. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Take a bath. You bathe happily and continue with newfound strength, plus one reason. Hell yes. I'm gonna put the prescription away. We have three cigarettes left. Ah, the study room. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty. But something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps. You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Underground chamber. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Explore some more. Wait. There we go. Explore more. You follow a winding corridor until you stumble upon something really strange. Someone has set up a series of vintage looking speakers all connected to a single unit. The speakers must be the source of the sounds. You see a knob following, allowing you to change its frequency. Huh. We gotta set it to 420, of course. And then return to the main corridor. But first, I'll put this on. Acoustics of the underground caves make the waves and the machine tone create a ghastly melody, shaking you to the bone. As you move closer to the stone altar, you scream in terror. You are not the only one charmed by the sounds. Prepare for combat. The cursed chants amplified by the cave system make you dizzy. To your horror, you notice the sound has awakened something else. And of course, it's Oataru, the inner coil. And we're, uh... I think we're gonna run like a hor- like, from the horrible beast like a coward. Indeed. Indeed we are. I have successfully run from Oataru. Why'd you do that? Because... Almost tripping over the countless human bones, you decide to run from the cave. The haunting melody continues to follow as o you as Oataru begins its reign of terror in the waters surrounding Shiokawa. I did that because we have the sailors one. I want to see if they interact in any way. Unholy chants coming from the caves connected to the mansion must have driven the family insane. Awakening Oataru almost made you share their fate. You decided to run, afraid of the dire consequences. The inner coil always gets its victim, and the fisherman looks so tasty. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, ending B, 30 XP, 15 XP, minus 3 doom. One reason, one day. Or one reason, one stamina. One day. Bam. 
And let's level up. <coughs> Yakuza card. One additional slot becomes available in all shops. Remove the illicit tag from all items. Folklore studies plus one knowledge. Art knowledge plus one perception. Hmm. Well. I kind of want to do art knowledge. Although folklore studies could be good too. Folklore studies, I guess. And we'll go for stamina. Very good. All right. Powerful people. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, leave any comments you have for me in the comment section, and share this video with anyone you think would like it. Uh, until next time, powerful people. My name is Eli. You can call me Super Kid. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Peace. And love.